Notebook LM is an amazing free tool for increasing the speed of your studying and learning. It's also a great example of using AI to augment rather than replace humans. And one of the ways we study now is by watching YouTube videos, but now I don't really have to watch the YouTube video. What I'll do is I'll summarize it or get transcripts and I'll read through that. Professional development and studying has always been really important for me. And previously, when people have asked how to study and improve their career, I basically said, read every book available that you can get your hands on and practice the skill sets. But we now live in an age of YouTube videos, podcasts, blog posts, eBooks, and all of those can be fed in as sources into a notebook LM. And then we can use Notebook LM to speed study that information. We can create briefing documents, study guides, FAQs, and timelines if the content has time information. Can't remember if this video does or not. So the briefing documents are a summary of the content in that video. And the reason that Notebook LM works well is because in the context to the LLM, it only puts in the sources that you've selected on the left. So you're restricting the amount of hallucination that's possible in the generation. I find these briefing to be quite useful. They're pretty accurate. They're nicely formatted. And I use this to help me determine if I'm going to watch a video. If the summary here, if the briefing is good, then I might go away and watch the video. I find that the more content rich the video, the better the briefing notes are, and then it's a good pointer that it's a good video to try and watch. The study guides provide an outline of the information and quizzes, so we can go through and self-test the information that's there. You get different results depending on what the content's like, and you might get different results if you run each of these again. The FAQ is just a list of questions and answers, that might help us understand. But again, we're going to use this information for studying. It's going to be a jumping off point to help us understand the content before we dive deep into the actual full content. And timeline is basically telling us what happened, when, in what order. Some videos work well for this, some don't. Other things that you get out of the box are a mind map. This is an interactive diagram, essentially. And the important point is not really the diagram because diagram is an outline, but when we click on the nodes, then it will generate information about that in the mind map. And you'll notice that each one of these is jumping back to this source because I've only put one source in. Probably not that useful because it's kind of going to jump back to all the content here. In this case, it's from the first paragraph. That's quite good. So the transcript here, is actually fairly well formatted. Very often it's just a big wall of text. Notebook LLM also generates a kind of podcast from this audio with two hosts speaking to each other, which I don't use. I think you'll get most out of Notebook LLM if you learn how to speed read. Most of this is text. I spent a long time learning how to speed read. So for me, this massively enables me to work through a video or other content really, really quickly by adding it as a source, creating a briefing and seeing if it's actually useful to go into more detail, creating a transcript, and I'll cover prompts to do that in just a second, and looking at the study guide and FAQs to help me understand the context here. But because we have multiple sources in here, I can find more videos more web pages, more text, add them all in here and then create summaries of all of that. So I'm immersing myself in the topic in a notebook. So let me slow down and provide some use cases. If I'm studying a topic, I'll pull in as many sources as I can. In the olden days, that meant stacks of physical books, <laughs> stacks of physical books behind me. That also meant using O'Reilly Safari, which is a digital library of books and courses. And now, with Notebook LM, it means stacks of free sources from the internet, YouTube videos, blog posts, put them all in here as sources and summarize them and quiz them using the LLM. I read Seth Godin's strategy book last week. 
and I pulled in lots of podcasts from Seth Godin and pulled in my notes from the book. And now, with all these sources, I can start asking questions. So if I want to refresh my memory on what's in here, I can then ask, what is a modern business plan? And then it will go through all the sources that we've added into the context and give me some sort of summary based on that. And that's pretty good. There's six sections in the business plan listed in Seth Godin's book, and we've got summaries and information related to it. And it's pulled this out of multiple sources here. So some of this has come from the podcast. One, two, three, four, five. Some of this is from my notes. But this is a useful pooling together of the information. Now the box notebook LM works really well for what I want to do, except for more detailed transcripts. So let me just do one last thing here. I'm going to add in here a podcast, which was me speaking to Jack Cole. I just add this in as a source. Now this is the raw podcast from YouTube. One of the things I tend to do is I will rename this when it comes in just so I know what it is. And then typically when I do something like create a briefing document, I wait till the briefing document has been created and then I'll rename it to match the video so that I know what is coming from where. Let me just get the name here. So the top here, I'll then write briefing. And then that reminds me just in the notes what this is. And that's a pretty good briefing. There's a lot of content there, which suggests there's a lot of content in the podcast. I probably want to go and watch that podcast. But what I might do first is check the transcript. Now, if I have a look at the YouTube transcript, this is a wall of text and it's a little bit hard to navigate. But because we have the chat interface here, I can use different prompts to try and create a version of that podcast. Now, one thing to note about the chat interface here is if we refresh the page or if we leave, we lose the information in the chat. So if we get anything that we want from the chat that's useful, we should save it to a note. Now, when I was trying to create a transcript, I did a whole bunch of experiments because Notebook LM likes to summarize content, but I want it as close as possible to the actual text. That means I need to adjust the prompt. Let's make sure only one is selected. So sometimes I'll get lucky and I'll ask it to just convert the transcript to English with paragraphs. Sometimes it will do that, but sometimes it will say, wait a minute, this is already in English. I'm not going to convert that. Let's see what it does. Okay, so here it's decided to do the work. You get different results sometimes. But this isn't a full version of the transcript. This is still a summary. It's pretty good. It's a nice long summary. So that got fairly good results, but it's not a reliable prompt. So I might choose to save that now. So sometimes you get a different version. Now I have a bunch of different prompt experiments that I've put on GitHub, which are readable. GitHub.com slash evil tester slash AI dash supported dash testing experiments. And it's in the content summarization notebook LM. Then you can see in the improved transcript, read me, I've put in some of the prompts that I've used to generate transcripts. And the one that I use is edited from an off the shelf prompt that I found by doing a search, which has multiple steps in it, which seems to guide the LLM into converting it better. So because this is two people speaking, I'm going to use this one. And it basically just says, take the raw video transcript and turn it into a readable document. Ensure it's formatted for improved grammar, but leave all the words in there. So then I tell it what steps to go through, read and understand the document, segment it into headings, sections, paragraphs, add some punctuation and grammar, and then add speaker labels if it can work out. Let's see how it does. So that took maybe 30 seconds and I've edited it down. But here you can see it's identified myself and Jack and 
the transcript is pretty close here. This is looking like it's a fairly good transcript. It hasn't edited out ums and as. It's got most of the wording in there. So if I was to read through this, I'd get a pretty good view of what the video is actually covering. In fact, and I probably shouldn't say this in a YouTube video, this actually cuts down on the number of YouTube videos that I watch because I'm transcribing them, I'm summarizing, and it's only when the video is actually showing me how to do something that I go off and watch it. Or if I really want to revisit it or get my own thoughts together about what's going on and make my own notes that I go back to the original source material because sometimes I'm just trying to immerse myself in content. So we can use Notebook LM to get fairly good transcriptions out of this. We just need to amend the prompt and you'll find the prompts that I've been using on GitHub in Evil Tester AI supported testing experiments. I'll leave a link in the description of the video. But that is incredibly useful because without this, what I would be doing, let me just save that because remember, if we don't save it to a note, we lose it. What I have been doing in the past is going off to the video, let's watch video on YouTube, jumping down and finding the transcript. Transcript show transcript. Make screen bigger. And this is how I've been studying with YouTube videos for the longest time. Using the transcript in here, speed reading through it. When there's something that is of use, I'll then click on it and then it will take me to that part. And so this would now be not the first thing that I do with a YouTube video, but maybe the fourth, fifth or sixth thing. I might take a briefing. I might get a, a general summary. I might get a detailed transcript through. I might look at the FAQs. I might look at the summary notes. I might explore the outline before I actually look at the source content to dive into detail with it. So Notebook LM is a phenomenal tool for studying and professional development. But I think you need to be able to speed read to get the most out of this. So if you don't know how to speed read, immediately after this video, create a notebook in Notebook LM dedicated to speed reading, pull in all the sources that you can find study speed reading and practice speed reading because that way you'll have an actionable topic to study, a reason to create a Notebook LM and a reason to experiment with it and pull the most out of Notebook LM. And if you're working with content or sources that is not in your native language, that's fine. The LLM will translate them for you. So I could pull in French content and ask it to translate from French to English. We're working with an LLM in the background. So we've got all the generative features that an LLM can handle at our disposal. Translation, summarization, all of that is there in the prompt interface. So have an experiment with Notebook LM. It's changed the way that I watch videos and study. And if this video is useful, consider subscribing to the channel. But use Notebook LM regardless.